small in stature, huge with courage. Welcome to the world of the honey badger. Hey everyone, <laughs> welcome back to the Wilder Talk Show, and I am your host, Kate Wilder. So today we're diving into the one of the most fearless animals on the planet, the honey badger, for a reason. We're not just here to talk about this incredible animal or just to explain why he or she has been my guiding philosopher in my life for a long time now. We're also going to explore how the honey badger and adopting his or her fearless attitude can transform your life as it did mine and why this channel has its very own honey badger as its mascot and branding. Yes, I do. So first off, let's kick it off. Based in Africa and Asia. Did you know the honey badger is considered one of the most courageous animals walking the earth? This pint-sized powerhouse, it's known for its tenacity, its courage, its unyielding determination. Whether it's facing off against predators three times its size, like lions and cougars, or facing a pack of wolves or dogs or digging into a beehive and getting stung a thousand times, or being poisoned by a venomous snake like a king cobra, Nothing seems to phase the honey badger. They are truly fearless little buggers. They can withstand all of this because they're flexible, they have loose skin, they're smart as a whip, and they're just not afraid. It can get bit and keep on going. That's just some examples of its incredible resilience. So now let's shift to why I'm talking about the honey badger and you. <laughs> let's focus to us humans. Hmm. Fear is a natural emotion, but let's face it, it dominates hum the human condition. And it does have a purpose. It keeps us safe and helps us make wise decisions and even motivates us to grow. However, when fear starts to control us, it can hold us back from our true potential, right? You, you know this. You've been there. We've, we have all been there. But we need a little more. We need something to help us with fear. The honey badger kind of resembles a wolverine. It's slightly smaller and has different predators chasing him that a wolverine doesn't face. We don't have lions, tigers, and cougars here. I love stepping into and reminding myself about how to be bold like a honey badger. I relate to this little creature because he's doing battle with few resources and little support. Have you ever experienced that in your world? But he's so strong and he exudes energy that's way bigger, requiring levels of courage to activate in order to survive an attack in a bad situation. The funny thing is, it doesn't shy away from confrontation. Nope. Mm -mm. It often goes out and seeks it. <laughs> Even if humans adopted a small fraction of this animal's audacity and tactics, life would be better for everyone and way more honest. Honey badgers live honestly. They're doing their best to fight more powerful predators and most of the time they win. Of course, they do occasionally lose too, especially the young ones that are just learning to how to be a badass honey badger grown up. But for the most part, their formidable tenacity is admirable. So just for fun, I put together something. Here are five unique honey badger personality types that correlate to human psychological fears and the honey badger's energy, along with how you can apply this kind of courage in your everyday life. And if these fears don't resonate with you, let me know. Say yes, you want more. I'll do more of these. All right, number one, the fear of public speaking. We call this the fearless orator. Honey badger energy? <laughs> honey badgers fearlessly confront their larger predators. So how do we apply this to your life? Hmm. Embrace public speaking opportunities like a honey badger. You stand tall. You own your space. You share your message with unwavering confidence. He pivots. If you watch the videos, he literally will jump into and start going in another direction. But standing, when a honey badger is backed into a corner, you know what he does? He pivots and he walks backwards while confronting his enemy. And then he darts sideways. He runs and turns around again and directly faces the enemy who's large does not back down, shifting and fighting and proving that he's an equal rival, even though he's only a foot tall. He's known for scaring off predators simply because he's so bold and unexpected. Unlike, unlike most, like a lion or a leopard or a cougar, sort of the badasses of the wild kingdom, you know, and other African animals, this poor little guy has to encounter him. So because his skin is loose and he's flexible, he responds to injuries in an unwielding way. He can slip and trick his largest opponents. He's smart and elusive, yet confident and sure of himself, even when he's not, and even when he's fighting for his life. You can do that, too, especially in the case of walking out onto a stage or trying a speech. So if a honey badger can do all that, you can certainly face giving a speech in public, something that won't kill you. All right, the second kind of honey badger personality is the fear of failure. 
the unstoppable innovator, a honey badger. <laughs> They're relentless. I mean, they just keep going and going. How can you apply this in your life? Approach new projects with this honey badger energy. But you've got to learn from your failures and adapt and make it better. Keep pushing forward with determination and see what the honey badger can do against all odds. Okay, here's the third little type, the fearless connector. <laughs> this honey badger energy, <laughs> they're just so cute. I'm sorry. <laughs> you have to, you, you just have to watch them because they're, they're freaking adorable. You know, they're just unafraid to approach others. Why can't you be too? Apply the honey badger energy to a social situation. Just go approach a new person. Build connections. Be a connector. Don't let the fear of rejection hold you back. Take on that honey badger energy. Ask yourself, what would a honey badger do? Now, the fear of change. I call this the resilient transformer. Honey badger energy. Honey badgers adapt to various environments showcasing their resilience. What's the application here? Yep, embrace change with adaptability. See transitions as opportunities and a growth for learning. So here's a big one. A fear of taking risks. The bold trailblazer. My personal favorite. Honey badger energy. All right, because we know already they fearlessly explore their surroundings and take big risks in search of opportunities. Hmm, how to apply this in your life? Approach new challenges with boldness. Take calculated risks, knowing that each one can lead to new and exciting possibilities and also failure. Honey badgers are known for their boldness. They know sometimes they're not going to win, but they go and do it anyway. While it's important to be cautious, don't be afraid that it could lead to your highest growth, whether it's personal or professional in life. Learn from experience. A honey badger may not be able to sit back and reflect on past experiences where he's overcome challenges or fears before. He just goes for it. He calls upon his courage reserves and he uses those as sources of confidence and motivation to go tackle another large predator. You can do the same. Remember, adopting a honey badger's energy doesn't mean being reckless, though. They're not reckless. It means facing your fears head on with determination and also adaptability and flexibility. And most of all, though, an unwavering spirit. Do you know what I mean? By channeling this energy, you can transform fear into courage in various aspects of your life, from public speaking, anxiety, to the fear of taking risks. We all have battles with fear. But if we could just take a page from the Honey Badger book and turn that fear into courage, let's break down some more key lessons we can learn from the Honey Badger. Adaptability. These creatures thrive in diverse environments, and they show us the importance of flexibility in overcoming challenges. And resilience. The honey badger's ability to bounce back from adversity, though, is truly it's inspiring. It really is when you watch them. We, too, can develop this trait, though, by learning from our setbacks and pushing forward. So starting over again, we live another day. So how can we adopt honey badger's courageous spirit into our own lives? It starts with acknowledging our fears and reframing them in opportunities for growth. Just like the honey badger, we can face challenges head on, but you have to be unafraid of the outcome. When you lose attachment to the outcome, your life becomes more powerful. Remember, courage isn't the absence of fear, but the willingness to act despite it. So let's embrace discomfort, take risks, and believe in our own resilience. You may be small in stature and have few supportive resources or be plagued with insecurities, but the honey badger is too. So follow her lead. If there was ever a role model to tackle fear against all odds in this world, this pint-sized animal is the poster child, showing lions how to get the heck out of there and scaring them off. A honey badger, I'd like to know what you're afraid of doing. Comment below and tell me. Will you change your thinking into a honey badger mindset and try something new? And there you have it, folks, the incredible story of the honey badger and the powerful lessons it teaches us about courage. So you go out there and face your fears like a honey badger. If they can do it, so can you. So don't forget to share, like, subscribe for more inspiring content. Until next time, stay fearless. Let's get out there and grab your dream by slaying fear and letting a honey badger be your guide. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>